Welcome to Cats Tutorials and in this video, I'll be covering question 31, Ramon Pink 1 exercises and Jim Stewart calculus. So we're asked to find the domain of this function. And the domain is simply the list of all x values where this function is defined. And by defined, you basically want to have um, valid y values, or we want to have places where we can see a line, a solid line, for all of the x's which we mention. So in other words, we don't want to have a case where there's division by zero because that leads to undefined behavior. And even on your calculator, you're going to get a math error if you try to divide by zero. And in this specific uh, question, we don't want the denominator to be zero because as I said, we'll have division by zero. And at the top, there really is no restriction. We can substitute any x value into x at the top and it should be defined. So it doesn't matter what you substitute up here. In this x, the top part will be defined, but we have that restriction at the bottom. And that restriction is that we cannot have this expression as a zero, or we don't want that expression to evaluate to zero. So, this function is essentially defined everywhere except where the bottom part is equal to zero and that is our domain so how do you describe that let's get right into it so we don't want this to be zero and this is the difference of squares so this is x minus three x plus three the solutions to this would be three and minus three so we don't want our x to be any of these so our domain is all the x values. You can substitute any x value into this, but you should not have x equal to three or x equal to minus three, or your function is not defined here. Because if you substitute this at the bottom, you're going to have zero. That'll lead to division by zero. Any other x value which you substitute into this function apart from these two should give you a definite y value that is how you answer this question another way you can use to describe the same answer is you can use these points as dividers for your portions on the x axis in other words if you now choose to describe your x values as x is an element from negative infinity so all the way to the left until minus 3 your function is defined then at minus 3 it is not defined there is a break and you're going to indicate that by showing the union so instead of saying from minus infinity to infinity we show where the function has breaks or where it is undefined by using the union then we're going to continue at minus 3 until we reach the point three. And once again, at three, we have a break, all the functions are defined. We're going to show that with the union and we're going to continue again all the way to the right, which is defined by positive infinity. So these are the two ways that you could have given your domain for this question.